click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic organic chemistry video. And today we'll talk more about hybridization. So let's get into it. So we have an SP carbon here and an SP nitrogen there. Carbon here and nitrogen here. There's my SP. There's another SP. Those are overlapping to make a sigma bond. There's an SP orbital going this way, and that's going to hold the lone pair. So now the lone pair is in an SP orbital. Over here, the hydrogen to carbon bond is right there. Now it's a it's SP hybridized, so that means it has everybody has two p orbitals. The carbon and the nitrogen both have two p orbitals, so they got to draw them in, do the best you can, be as neat as you can. There's one of my p orbitals there. There's another one of my p orbitals there, and they are overlapping. So there's one of my pi bonds right there. So so far I've drawn a sigma and a pi bond. And there has to be another pi bond that's at 90 degrees to the first one. Pi bonds are always 90 degrees from each other. There we go. And there we go. And that's how you draw that particular mo molecule's orbitals. And that's how they look. So that's uh, the answer to that question. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, also tell me what kind of questions you're working on in your organic chemistry class. Maybe I can help you. Uh, please consider slapping that like button. If you thought this video was helpful, let other people know by slapping the like button. And please, if you don't mind, would you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really does help us out, YouTube creators, uh, to make more content. It lets YouTube know that our content is beneficial to students. So with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.